Hallo und herzlich willkommen, liebe Basketballfans hier aus äh, Miami. Wie ihr in meiner Kleidung hier seht, äh, es ist wahrhaftig der Winter hier in äh, Florida, in Miami ausgebrochen. Die letzten Tage waren richtig bitter, bitter kalt. Bitter kalt versteht man hier so. Nachts hat es um die 5 bis 6 Grad gehabt. Auch jetzt äh, es ist es Ortszeit äh, 13 Uhr. Äh, müssen wir uns immer noch mit äh, 10 Grad hier herumschlagen. Also wie ihr seht, das ist eine ganz schöne äh, Quälerei. Nichtsdestotrotz, ich war gerade hier in der American Airlines Arena und zwar beim Training der Miami Heats und dort habe ich mit einem jungen Mann gesprochen, der, ja, man muss sagen, seit ein bis zwei Jahren zu den absoluten Superstars bei den Miami Heat zählt und zwar Josh Richardson. Ich habe heute ein Interview mit ihm geführt, das ein bisschen außergewöhnlich ist. Wir haben kein einziges Wort über Basketball verloren, sondern über Fußball. Fußball ist die große Leidenschaft von Josh Richardson. Er hat auch einen Bekannten in Deutschland, und zwar Christian Pulisic von Borussia Dortmund. Und ja, zunächst mal wollte ich von Josh Richardson wissen, wie kam es denn eigentlich dazu, dass er seine Liebe zum Fußball entdeckt hat, beziehungsweise was macht Fußball für ihn speziell aus? Yeah, my, one of my favorite sports uh, and, and hobbies outside of basketball is soccer. Um, you know, I really love, you know, the teamwork that it takes. I love, you know, how tough it is to learn how to play. Like, it's, it's not an easy game. And I love how worldwide it is. It, it brings, you know, it brings everybody together. So, I mean, everybody can understand the language of soccer. Um, Well, I first started playing a video game called FIFA, and that was like my favorite game in college, and I always played with Arsenal. And Mezu Ozil is like my favorite player, and so it was easy to start liking him, and so uh, ever since then I've been liking them. I think it's growing. Um, I don't think it's it's been one of our biggest sports that, you know, the best athletes have played, but I think... Uh, You know, with the with, with how much emphasis we're putting on it now with the national team, and they're, they're start, starting to put more academies here, and uh, the young guys, like the, the U.S. national team, has a lot of good young players. So hopefully, the next World Cup, we can we can qualify and, and make some noise. Um, I I think it depends on how you look at it. Um, you know, my my friend Christian Pulisic. Um, he was pretty upset about it, but, you know, I think that, you know, with guys like him and, you know, that are, that are making the game huge in America, I think that they can, you know, have more influence on the young, young people here and, and get them more into it. I think it'd be huge because there's a lot of South American and European influence in Miami. So, you know, soccer is huge in those parts of the world. And, you know, I, I went to El Clasico and Barcelona played Real Madrid here and the atmosphere was just unmatched. So, you know, I think, you know, I think they can really get a great fan base here. I think that the city will definitely get behind them. Yeah, that was great. That was probably my first time playing with, that was my first time playing with professional soccer players. And, uh, you know, they were great guys. Uh, Christian Fuchs um, from uh, Leicester. He's, uh, I, I kind of got to know him a little bit and hang out with him, and he's been great. But, um, yeah, I mean, <laughs> I had a great time. I mean, I love running up and down with those guys. I love being able to play soccer. Like, I play here sometimes with my friends, and I don't know, it's just something about it that, that no, no other sport or hobby, like, can give you. Uh, he actually came to... <laughs> He actually came to our game in Orlando when we played Orlando Magic. And uh, I, was, I was walking to check in at the scores table, and he was sitting next to it. And I, I kind of looked at him twice. I was like, you're Christian Pulisic. And we kind of talked a little bit. And then after the game was over, I came over and I talked to him. And uh, I told him you know, how, how much I like soccer. And he said how much he liked basketball. And so, I mean, we became friends. And we, you know, we talk every now and then still. But... He's been great. I'm planning to go over to, to watch him this summer sometime. Was it the yellow, the yellow wall? Is that what it is? That place is crazy, man. I can't wait to get over there. Uh, Klinsman. You're in Klinsman. Uh... 
Landon Donovan. Uh, can I have a hint? Uh, yeah, his first name is Z. Start with C. C? Z. The second name is D. Oh, Clint Dempsey. I was going to say that too, man. Oh. <laughs> Clint Dempsey, okay. Oh, that's right. Yeah, I'll take that. That's right. It's Correct. Right, that's right. That's correct. Liverpool? No. Chelsea? No. Oh. Uh. The coach is Jose Mourinho? Oh, United. Man United. Manchester United. Sanchez? No. Uh, Giroud? No. Oh, Lacazette. Lacazette. Alexandre Lacazette. That's right. Bayern. They got, they got destroyed. <laughs> Wait, they beat the crap out of us. It was terrible. Oh my god, I remember one that. Five, one five. It was awful. I remember watching the first game and I didn't even want to watch the second game. My friends didn't let me live it down. They, my friends gave me so much crap about it.